Uh, amidst the spectacular natural phenomenon of Niagara Falls, four kayakers will attempt a dramatic first. Through the Niagara Gorge, these kayakers will try and conquer Niagara's mighty waters. Over the years, the American sportsman has explored the big rivers of the world on whitewater kayaking expeditions. We've traveled down rapids in Alaska, Mexico, and Nepal in search of the thrill that brims among these boiling waters. The gorge below Niagara Falls is the scene of another river challenge in the continuing duel between man and water. Cutting a path across the shelf of rock between Lake Ontario and Lake Erie, Niagara Falls is one of the wonders of the world. With 3,000 tons of water spilling over the falls every minute, it's a natural sculpture and a sporting arena in our own backyard. Drawing tourists and thrill seekers for over a century, the Niagara has a special place in the heart of the American spirit. This is Bob Biatti, and behind me, spectacular Niagara Falls, really one of the most beautiful sights in North America. But you know, that's not the real reason we're here today, because also behind me, four kayakers, and they're going to attempt to negotiate one of the most difficult rapids in North America. There's 29-year-old Chris Spilius, currently training for the 1984 Olympics. He's made unsanctioned runs in the gorge before. Big water specialist Ken Lagergren, also a veteran of the gorge. At 32, Ken's courage and daring are unmatched. Don Whedon, an athlete with diverse experience in sea and river kayaking. Don was arrested in 1981 by park authorities for making an unlawful run through the gorge. He paid a fine of $50 and was released. Carrie Ashton is the first woman ever to attempt the gorge. She is one of the top female kayakers in the world and none better suited to meet the dangers of this white water. With permission from the U.S. and Niagara Park Commissions, the American sportsman gained access to the gorge to make the first sanctioned kayak run through this awesome roller coaster of water. Not a trip for amateurs. Below the falls, the kayakers paddle one and a half miles to the gorge. To compare with Lava Falls in Colorado, the granddaddy of rapids, the Niagara Gorge funnels three times the amount of water through its steep banks. We start with the section of rapids known to these kayakers as Pipeline, an introduction to the power of the gorge where the jade-colored swells break with the force of waves on a beach. Next, the aptly named Himalayas, the largest standing waves in the hemisphere, reaching up 20 feet like cliffs of water. And finally, these kayakers will face helter-skelter, where the flow is unpredictable and the surge is mysterious. The second rapid's deep throat consists of a chilling whirlpool 500 feet deep. The gorge has sparked many attempts to conquer its alien risings and fallings. In 1901, Bowser Nissen, a Chicago accountant, failed in his vessel, the Fool Killer. He escaped with his life. The old man of Niagara, Red Hill Sr., first shot the gorge in 1930 inside a steel barrel. In all, he bobbed through the gorge successfully three times. In his later years, he displayed an array of life-saving medals for his courage on the river. Inheriting the appetite for risk from his father, Red Hill Jr. first succeeded at the gorge in 1945 when he took off in a 720-pound barrel designed by his father. Inflated by glory, Red Hill Jr. went from the gorge to challenge Niagara Falls in a worm-shaped contraption made of truck inner tubes. In 1951, he went over the thundering falls and disaster struck. The next day, to the horror of spectators, the river gave up his battered body. Only luck could carry a human safely over Niagara Falls, as in the case of seven-year-old Roger Woodward's accidental plunge. I spoke to the kayakers about the volume that rips through this gorge. Chris, they call this uh, section of the rapids the Himalayas. How's it look to you? These are about the biggest waves I've ever seen as far as standing waves go, but they are uh, relatively a straight shot through them. But boy, there's a lot of energy in that water out there, a whole lot. When you come down this way, you try to go right down through the middle? I'm going straight down the throat on these, yeah. 
There's no place you might have to do a little detour. It looks like it's a little easier on the sides. There's some uh, right diagonals over on the right side that could give you some complications if they surf you over towards the middle. And uh, if you hit them at the same time you hit the peak of the standing wave, it could cause you some problems. Carrie, this is your first time? Yes, it will be. How's it look to you? Big. Did uh, you have any apprehensions when you were looking at it, or have you just decided it's OK and you can go ahead? Well, the uh, the buildup before I got here was so intense that uh, seeing it is, relatively speaking, been a relief. But it's the biggest I've ever seen. Don's been down these rapids before. I asked him about the dangers he expected to face. No, the, the real problem is going to be if one if you come out of your boat, if you're not able to roll. You almost assume on this rapid that you're going to roll at some point. Consider it a, a really good run if you stayed upright and your hair dry the entire way, I'll tell you. Uh, the single would be to try to stay in, in the kayak, right? Oh, you do everything possible. You don't want to swim on this rapid. So, And the rolling will be tough because with all that uh, energy, all that uh, turbulence, it's hard to get your paddle to the surface to uh, execute a, an Eskimo roll. Chris, what do you concentrate on uh, when you're doing a roll to get yourself back up? Uh, I practice for a run like this, uh, holding my breath as I drive along in the car. And uh, it's a very important thing just to have uh, the ability to stay cool when you're underwater like that. Uh, I'm to the point now where I don't think about a whole lot. It just sort of happens, and I, and I feel it. On the approach to the gorge, excitement and apprehension swirl beneath the calm surface. The site is Niagara Gorge, where four kayakers have gathered to challenge the fiercest rapids in North America. At the end of the run, Mike Hipsher, an accomplished kayaker, will act as a safety man in case any of the kayakers get separated from their boats and need assistance. The first to go is Chris Spilius, the senior veteran of the gorge. Chris gets off to a cool start through the pipeline. He picks a clean descent, letting the water carry his knife-like boat over the foam. As he said earlier, he's taking the middle course of the river. executed run. Chris showed good balance. He never tipped or rolled either. Chris made that look easy, but only an expert could handle the destructive power in the gorge. Next is Ken Lagergren, a native of Idaho, and at 32, the oldest kayaker on the river. Ken starts with a brash line of descent and finds himself in early trouble. Like Chris, Ken attacks through the throat of the river, respecting the power of this waterway and the strength it requires. Last of the men is Don Whedon. Through pipeline, Don is going well.
Suddenly, there's trouble as he rolls over and disappears. The Himalayas will not let him come up for air. Don recovers and continues the run. finishes with the grace of a real professional. Now it's Kerry Ashton's turn. At age 29, Kerry's already conquered the Colorado River. But never before has a woman attempted to kayak the Niagara Gorge. She starts off on a bad line, too far to the left. She seems unsure of herself, perhaps fearing the size of the river. But as she moves through the peaks and valleys of water, she is finally triumphant. A first for Kerry Ashton. Chris, how was it? Oh, man, that was great. Tremendous amount of energy in that water. And the sun coming off it, it was beautiful. Was it as tough as you thought it was going to be? Yeah, it's subtly tough down in the second part where you really can't see the waves from shore. It is big, real big. Carrie, let me congratulate you. The first woman to go down the rapids. Thank you. How'd it feel? Were you uh, a little nervous up there? I was extremely nervous up there. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel much better now. This marks the success of the first sanctioned assault on the rapids, and the first time a woman has harnessed the buoyant power of the gorge in a craft as slender as a reed. A special day for the sport of kayaking.